So there's a few problems in section 5-5 that walk you through a specific process. Uh, so I made this video to help you understand that process. I also made this video because um, years ago, my wife at the time was buying a lot of her clothes from uh, Victoria's Secret. And so we got a ton of Victoria's Secret catalogs in the mail. So many catalogs. And I always said, I'm going to turn this into data. I'm going to turn this into a class example. Uh, and she said, yeah, right. So eventually I did. Um, and a few years back, I kept track for an entire year. So here's the showdown. On one corner, we have the man himself, Simone Poisson. And in the other corner, we have Victoria's Secret. And I tried to take a family-friendly photo here. That's the best I could do. You know, some Victoria's Secret catalogs. Okay, so in the 2012, uh, first of all, there were 303 days where the mail was delivered. I'm going to make my unit, because Poisson needs a per unit, I'm going to make my unit uh, mail days rather than just days. Uh, otherwise, there'd be a, a very specific pattern, and we don't want patterns, right? So there'd always be this, hey, no mail, no uh, catalogs on Sunday, no catalogs on Sunday, no catalogs on Sunday, uh, because the mail was not delivered on Sundays. So we'll just go with actual mail days for our units. And we got 95 catalogs on those 303 mail days. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is actually just figure out the average per day. Uh, so grab your calculator, do 95 divided by 303, and that works out to about 0.31. So I'll go ahead and fill that in there. Uh, 0.31 catalog, so about a third of a catalog per day on average. Oh, I guess I had a slide for that. Okay, so 0.31 per day. Okay, so let's go on and answer a few questions. Um, first of all, let's just do some probabilities. So what percentage of the mail days would you expect to receive zero catalogs, one, two, three, and four? Uh, so this is the point where we need stat disk. Uh, so let's go ahead and get stat disk up here. And this time we'll say the average is 0 0.31. And it spits the probabilities out for us. Uh, so the um, zero would be 0.733. So 0 0.733. So about 73% of the time, 73% of the mail days, uh, you'd expect there to not be a Victoria's Secret catalog in the mail. Um, one should happen about 0.227. So about 23% of the time, you'd expect to walk out to the mailbox and get one catalog. And um, let's fill in two, three, and four. So two is 0 0.0352. Three would be um, 0 0.00364. And four, would be 0 0.00028. Can't get three sig figs out of that one. So 0, 0, 0, we'll just go two, eight. We'll go our two sig figs. Okay, so, so far that's fine. That's just been some basic Poisson distribution questions. Um, let's move on. The next question is how many actual mail days out of the 303 does each one of those percentages translate to so it's fine to say yeah sure 73 percent of the time i'd expect to get zero catalogs uh, but how many actual days is that so oops uh, let's go on to so for zero that was 73% of the time, 0.733. And then what is that out of 303 days? What is 73.3% of 303 days? So grab your calculator again. Um, 
Grab your calculators, 0. 0.733 times 303. Uh, that works out to 222 in, in a little bit. But since we're talking actual days, we'll round off. So that's 222 days. And let's go back and look at our probabilities. Uh, you'd expect to get one catalog 0.227% of the time. Uh, so let's fill that one in. So one catalog should happen about 0.227% of the time. So out of those 303 days, let's see what the 0.227 is. Um, 0.227 times 303, that's 68.7, we'll round to 69. Uh, we could do the same thing for 2 and 3 and 4. Um, oops, looking back at the probabilities here, you could just multiply those by 303 as well. Um, let's go ahead and jump straight to the punchline. Um, so these were the predictions from the Poisson. So there's my bar representing zero, which was going to be 222 days. And my bar representing one, which was going to be about 69 days. And then two was down here more like nine or eight days. I can't remember. Three was only one day and four worked out to be zero. Uh, so these are the predictions. Now let me show you what actually happened. So the orange is predicted. Blue is what actually happened. Uh, it's not perfect. I mean, and it shouldn't be, right? This is just a prediction, but pretty darn accurate, really. Uh, the, there's like 224 instead of 222 days that we got zero catalogs. And slightly uh, lower on one as well, slightly higher on two. I have to tell you, I was nervous about this three. I knew that the Poisson predicted that we'd get three catalogs once during the year, and it was getting to be November and it hadn't happened yet, and I was a little bit worried, uh, but have faith in Christmas, my friends, because Christmas shopping season ramped up, and I went out to the mailbox one day, and sure enough, there were three catalogs in there, and I was dancing around like, no grown man should dance around for getting Victoria's Secret catalogs, but I was happy that there was three and it matched the prediction. Uh, okay, so there's the actual numbers. Um, actual versus predicted. So, the winner of this particular showdown, of course, was Simone Poisson, but uh, given the amount of money that we sent to Victoria's Secret that year, uh, probably they were the winners also. Um, so the reason, again, that I walked you through this was there's a homework example or two that's very similar to this process where they have you compute some probabilities and then work out the actual number of results that would be generated by those probabilities. Uh, so if you have any questions on that, of course, send me an email and have fun with the Poisson distribution.